To his players, he was Coach Alto, the head baseball coach at Orange Coast College. John Alto Belli, his wife, and their daughter, Alyssa, were among those killed in that helicopter crash last January. NBC4's Vicki Vargas has this look back for us. And I'll let those two days. Those, those what Tony Altobelli remembers about that day was the text he got first from the women's basketball coach at Orange Coast College. So I texted her. I'm like, hey, did you hear anything about Kobe? And her response was, where's your brother? And I completely stopped. Then came a panicked phone call. He said, they're all gone. And I'm like, well, who's all gone? He's like, John and Carrie and Alyssa, they're all gone. He admits the news was surreal, and he was the sports information director charged with giving out that news. John Altobelli, his wife Carrie, and their youngest daughter Alyssa were killed in a helicopter crash on the way to a tournament at the Mamba Academy. 17-year-old daughter Lexi was not on the flight. I can't imagine losing both parents and a sister, you know, just like that. It's, uh, it's something I can't even, even wrap my head around. Bryant became friends with the baseball coach through their daughters, who both played on the same team at the Mamba Academy. The Lakers star even made a surprise okay. visit to the campus for a pep talk. <laughs> In the days that followed, as a memorial grew by the baseball field, Tony Altabelli learned his brother was more than a four-time state championship coach. The stories that came out after John passed away, I was floored, you know, and I work with the guy, you know, I, I couldn't believe how many people he touched and how many people he impacted. It was evident at a memorial held inside Anaheim Stadium, where friends of the family stretched from third base to left field. The service was organized by John Altabelli's oldest son, JJ, who has now taken over guardianship of his half-sister, Lexi. He understands the responsibilities. Uh, he knows what his priorities are, and right now it's taking care of, of, of Lexi and making sure that she's okay, uh, while taking care of himself at the same time because he's gone through a, a horrible tragedy as well. Lexi is headed to college. Her uncle only hopes the pandemic passes so a baseball team can play again and a family can be together. You know, we want to honor my brother. We want, we want the pain to go away for all of our family, and, and the best way to do that is to be together and, and, to, and to hug each other and do all these things to, to show that we care and we can't do that right now. In Costa Mesa, Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News. Orange Coast College will honor the Altobellis tomorrow on the first anniversary of the crash. The school is still closed because of the pandemic, but the virtual memorial service will begin at 10 a.m. on YouTube.